We're done teasing. The time has come. We made a pretty big change for our family. Got a new RV. What, what? What is it? Stay tuned, you'll find out. Hey everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Natasha. And we are nursing our travel bug and we're blocking it. We're blocking something that we got. Yeah, after visiting the Tampa RV show and going through tons and tons of walkthroughs, I think we found our unicorn. We did. You guys wanna see it? You wanna see it? Here she is! <laughs> So what is it, Natasha? What did we get? Well, we became family members of Alliance, and we have their new Valor 42V13 toy hauler. So we're really excited to show you what we got, and it's not going to be your regular Will I Fit video, but I will show you our three little tests just to show you how I do fit or not fit. Uh, but take a look at these specs and take a look around the outside. Now something that we really liked about the outside that we don't normally talk about in our Will I Fit videos is check out the suspension on this. As you know in our last RV we had to upgrade our suspension with the beefier shackle straps and greasable wet bolt kit. This already comes with that. Some of the other features on the outside that you'll see here, there is an air compressor that is available that you can get to from the outside here, and there are two 30-gallon fuel tanks. One is designated just for the onboard generator, and the other is actually a tank that you can pump fuel out of. Now, we don't have the toys, so we might just use it just to fill the generator tank if we were boondocking for a longer period of time. You know, it does come with an extra axle, which means two extra wheels, so a little bit more maintenance, but I am excited about all of the things this RV can do. It's built for boondocking, it's got the garage space, which is a world of possibilities for our family. I think it's going to be a good fit, and I think you're going to like it. Now, I love the great outdoors. I love going outside and getting the sun on my face and some fresh air, and this RV comes with not one, but two patios. So I love that I can walk outside, have additional living space right here in my own RV. Welcome. Just a moment, Bill's gonna kick off his shoes. That's right, we got built-in shoe storage. Now here's an upgrade from our Jayco, a friction hinge door. Now if you've been with us for a little bit watching our Will I Fit videos, you're probably caught up on what we were looking for in an RV. And this checked off most of, if not all of those boxes. We of course needed space for someone of a tall stature, but not just for Bill. Our kids are growing too. So we needed spaces for them. We wanted a living room set up that made sense and a place for all of us to sit comfortably because we like our movie nights and game times and whatever together. And it's really important for me that the family has a dining room table that we can all sit around and share a meal and share our thoughts about our day. We found all that in a toy hauler? Sure did. 
So the kitchen, of course, is the heart of the home, and this kitchen is amazing. Not only do we have a convection oven, we have a regular oven and stove, and a residential style refrigerator, but next to the kitchen, we also have... An amazing living room setup. Now this looks like it only seats three, but trust us, even with my wide stature, all four of us can sit on there and watch a movie or our favorite TV shows at night. And yes, that makes sense why we're not turning our heads to watch TV. Mm -hmm. But if you really want to know what Natasha was looking for, let's walk back this way. Ooh. A dining room table and a toy hauler that all four of us can sit around and share a meal together. Of course, we are going to start in one of my favorite rooms, the kitchen. Now, admittedly, I don't spend as much time in here as my husband Bill does. He does all the cooking, but I just love the features that Alliance has put into this kitchen in particular. Starting off with this island. Now, the island itself is actually pretty small, but they have extensions on either side, which almost double your counter space. This has the farm style stainless steel sink and of course it's got residential faucets with the sprayer which add a really nice touch. Again, just makes it feel like a home. Now what's really cool about the Valor is this refrigerator. It looks residential, but it's not. And no, it's not a dual electric propane refrigerator either. Oh no. This refrigerator behind me runs off of 12 volt power. So it is perfect for boondocking. We can't wait to test that out. But what's really cool is it's got the French doors up top. So we have plenty of room to store all of our stuff. But in addition to the refrigerator, it also has the freezer down below. Easy access. It also has the convection microwave combo, which we absolutely love. We do a lot of our baking in these babies, but then you still get to pop popcorn or heat up a meal because it's got the microwave feature as well. Now this unit also has a three burner propane stove, but it also has an oven. Now this oven is just like the RV ovens, so it's not much larger, even though it has the look of the residential type uh, oven stove combo, but it does have a big drawer for lots and lots of storage down below. And speaking of storage, check out these cabinets behind me. They are huge. Now, admittedly, I'm only 5'6", so I really can only reach like the bottom shelf in all of these cabinets, but they're perfect for my tall husband who can reach all the way to the top. So with teamwork, we can get to our stuff easily and we have room to store it all too. I almost forgot my favorite feature in this kitchen, the pantry. Check this out. Auto lights, five shelves to store almost anything you can possibly imagine. When it comes to storage, this kitchen has it all. Welcome to the living room. Again, like we've already said, this is a couch. All the seats recline. And yes, it's powered by, again, 12 volt. Across from me here, what I'm usually staring at while I'm sitting here is our 50 inch TV. There is a JBL audio system. Now I will say, we do comment on those, how cool that is. In reality, the speakers that came with it are kind of weak and it's tinny. But what I do like is that it does have the three zones. You have the zone in here with these speakers you have the second zone that's in the garage area. And there's also a third zone that has the speakers outside. I will say the speakers outside and the speakers in the garage sound a lot better than those right under the TV here. 
So maybe an upgrade in the future. It could happen, right? Another one of the features we're always talking about, I don't know if it's a must, but it definitely comes in handy on these chilly nights, is that fireplace. And like our other RV, this fireplace does a pretty good job of keeping the entire 44 feet of this toy hauler warm on those cold nights. There's tons of storage. There's these really tall cabinets above the TV. We got a lot of the kids' school stuff in there. We did have to be a little bit creative on where we put my PlayStation. Right now it's behind the TV, so if we ever want to get to it, or it's USB plugs, technically we would have to take the TV off the mount that it's on, which isn't that big of a deal. There's also some nice storage above the couch here that we actually don't even have full yet, so I guess we could buy a few more things, right? <laughs> no. Oh, we love this couch, and people say, oh, where does the fourth person sit? Well, we'll show you here. We do all fit. And like we said, all three areas recline. So we've all sat here, reclined. And as you can see, I have to have a footstool so I can put my feet up. It's a theme, like usual, in our Will I Fit videos. I make some sacrifices, but overall for our family, this really was the perfect RV. Welcome to the garage, or as I like to call it, my office. We are in day mode right now with the back patio down, you get this whole wall of windows which lets in a ton of light, windows on either side, window there, patio door there, window in the door, this room just lights up during the day, which makes having to work a little bit more enjoyable. At least I get a view, right? And this is my workstation. So where you see the desk right now, this is where the Happy Jack couches used to be. And we knew if we were going to purchase a toy hauler, those things were going to go. They weren't anything that we were going to use. Bill and I decided to make this garage space a multi-purpose space. And since I have started working from home for almost a year, we decided to make this part of the garage my office. I have upgraded from a teeny tiny 25 inch closet to this massive 55 inch desk and I love it. I get room to spread out. I have the privacy of a door so I can take calls and not be interrupted. This space just makes me happy. What are we doing with this side over here? Well, originally we only bought one of these tabletops for her desk and that's really all we were worried about. I'm like, well, what are we gonna do with the other side? We still had the brackets that these tabletops are sitting on. But like, you know what? Another problem we had to solve is where are we gonna put this full 88 key keyboard? Well, we thought, well, let's just get another tabletop. Put the keyboard back here. We'll leave it there. It can go up and down. Kids come in here and practice. But really it is multi-purpose, so it could be a piano practice station, we could push the piano back, put the laptop up there, and then I'm editing on the desk, fold the clothes on it, store clothes on it, that's a popular one, Natasha loves that one. <laughs> now this is cool, like we've talked about in other toy haulers, when the bed's fully up in the upright position in office mode, I can run and back and forth under here and not even have to worry about nicking my head. Now one of the things we really love about this toy hauler is this patio door. The rear deck is a great space for us to relax at the end of the day. It's also a great place to meet the neighbors, especially when they stop by to ask us about our sweet toy hauler. Now let's switch the garage space from work mode to night mode. We just laid down the tall items like the computer monitor, flat on the desk, raise up the platform, and lower the bed. A 
Although we have a lack of storage for our clothing, we found the perfect dressers to fit the space at where else but Ikea. Of course, things like the rug, curtains, and decor give this room a warm and cozy feel. Now just opposite our really amazing patio is this door here. This was another item on our wish list. It wasn't a must have, but it's definitely a bonus. And that is this. That's right, that's another bathroom. Yeah, I got a duck to get through the doorway, but once I'm in here, woo, that's a tall ceiling. So then, now you're probably curious. We gotta do the toilet test, right? Now it does fit, but I will say I've learned I need to do a new test sitting on a toilet. Sometimes it's necessary to have the knees spread out a little bit. Now I don't have a lot of knee room to do that, but I do have leg room. I can sit. It is comfortable. All is well. Honestly, I usually just do number one back here. Now we always talk about finding the unicorn of an RV I don't have to duck in. That was at the Tampa show, that was a joke. I told the salespeople, you find me an RV I don't have to duck anywhere, I'm buying it. I don't care what it costs. So here is another area I do have to duck. This is coming in and out of the bedroom, and this is under here, this is the loft. This is my room. It's where I sleep and store some of my personal toys. Come check it out. We got a four cubbied storage bin from Target. We had to take the top off though, or else it would scrape the roof. In two of them, I store my toys, and in one, I store my backpack. And in the other cubby, I have my fan there to blow on me since it's hot up here. Time for our classic test number two, the stair test. Well, let's check it out, shall we? Now, you've seen worse. I've had to duck a lot more in other RVs. But yes, I do have to duck. But honestly, up here, this is where Bella sleeps. The kids hang out. There is a bathroom. This is the shower. So I do have to go in there. And this is the bathroom. Other one we talked about earlier. Check it out. <laughs> This is the main bathroom. We'll call it the master bathroom because it has a second entry coming from the master bedroom. Plenty of knee space. The new test I'm ordering in, see I can spread out a little bit that way as well. So the toilet works well. I'll show you how I fit in the shower. It's not perfect, but you could, let's check it out. So yes, well this is me. Fully standing up, I'm pushing the skylight up with my head. But, again, normally I get in here, do my thing, scrub off, maybe pop a seat if I want to. There's a handle over here if you're tall and you're unsure about your steadiness like me. Ooh! Normally that shut. Shut the door. I'm in the shower. I get my stuff done. I get out of here. What's really great about this shower, compared to our old shower, although it's not as tall, it does actually have some shelves. So we can store our shampoos, conditioners, body wash, all that stuff. This bathroom is actually smaller than our old one, but it does have some unique storage. This cabinet not only has storage right behind the door, but it's got a full 
extension back this way almost as far as the shower is wide so we've got some extra baskets in there we throw some extra toiletry items so we can actually fit quite a bit of things in here and then of course the medicine cabinet behind the mirror stores all that we need as well <music> Welcome to mine and Bernie's room. It's our favorite part of the house. It's my favorite because it's where I can enjoy all of my stuff and where I can sleep after a long travel day. And there's a TV in here so me and Will can play video games and watch TV. Bye. Yes, we gave the master bedroom to our daughter. And no, it's not because we love her more. Yeah, we always kind of talked about it, and most of these fifth wheels, it's going to be really hard to find one where I'm able to stand up in the front cap. So we always talked about, especially now that Natasha's working from home, it makes more sense for us to just turn that into our bedroom, and this up here is more like a multi-purpose kind of room. Uh, we have some of our closet storage still up here. The kids come up here, they hang out, they play their games, they get out of our hair... Yeah, it's really just a space for Bella to come up here and sleep, whereas Will's space to sleep is above the loft. But this room is where they get to hang out during the day. And we thought about maybe doing some other modifications up here, um, maybe narrowing the bed, making the bed smaller so we could throw in like a couple of beanbag chairs or gaming chairs so the kids could really spread out. We'll see. Oh, stay tuned for remodeling down the road. We got some remodeling to do. She's probably always itching to paint a wall or something. We have to hang our pictures. We haven't even fully moved in here yet. You got to see what we're going to do. Yeah, of course, we've already made some modifications with the garage space. But yes, that leaves the rest of the RV untouched. And definitely can't wait to make some changes to make it ours. Well, we really hope you enjoyed this little tour of our home. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you really liked it, slap the subscribe button. And ring the bell for notifications. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Will I fit? Well, I think the question here was, will we fit as a family? And I think this Alliance Valor 42 B13 is a definite yes for our family. Thanks for watching. I'm Will. I'm Bill. I'm Bella. And I'm Natasha with Nursing Our Travel Bug, encouraging you to nurse what makes you happy. And that's our new home.